let me live after one hour of reviving. He used our neighbor who was not a medical practitioner. I was 12 years old when I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Since that time, I believe that everything that happens in my life has a purpose in God. I arrived in South Korea last September 1 as Koika Scholar of the Master's Degree Program in Agricultural Economics held in Kangwa National University. I was 23 days late since the program had started last August 9. Everyone was asking why I was late, so this is my story. <coughs> the story that shows miraculous acts of God in my life. When I graduated in college, passed the, I passed the agriculturist licensure examination and landed a regular job. I thought it was enough because I believed that I couldn't bring the diploma and medals to heaven. But there was that hidden desire inside me that kept on pushing me to do something more, such as studying. But I couldn't afford to pay for my further studies, so I looked for a scholarship. I prayed for it. Last January 2019, I saw the advertisement of Koika scholarship in a Facebook page that I was following. The scholarship offer was very interesting, so I asked one of my friends to apply for the scholarship because I wanted to join him in submitting the requirements. Out of more than 10 Filipinos who applied for the program, only three was qualified to take the exam and Skype interview, including me and my friend. So I hope and prayed hard that three of us will be accepted. <coughs> but on May 2019, only two of them received, received an email from Koika Accredited Hospital in Korea to proceed to the medical examination. Koika staff called me to inform me that I didn't qualify for the scholarship program, but I was number one in the waiting list. If someone backed out, I could get in. Get in. See, the probability of me getting in was very low. So who would give up that very rare opportunity? So I never kept, kept my hopes high. One day I felt so down and burned up from everything that's happening in my life. I just prayed to God to uplift my spirit and one Saturday night he led me to listen to the song of John Farnham entitled, Help. I was so moved by the lyrics of the song that I kept on listening and singing the song over and over until I fell asleep with my tears in my eyes. Also, I heard a forgettable message from God's minister. He said, God's delay is not God's denial. Right there and then, I was back to my bubbly self again, ready to face life's challenges because I believe that he will not leave me nor forsake me. God is bigger than my anxiety. I never expect that God will answer my prayer in the next day. On July 30, nine days before the start of the program, Koika staff told me that someone backed out and I have a chance if I can pass the medical examination. I believe it was not pure luck, but a blessing from God. 